Hi, thanks for joining me for a look at Tug, Tiny Upheaving Grimalkin. <laughs> I actually didn't even know that that's what that stood for. Uh, so I originally kickstarted this in 2015, and they delivered uh, an alpha at that point. Uh, it's still in alpha, uh, so obviously this has been an extended development. Uh, after this, it went to Steam for Greenlight, uh, which it did get through. However, uh, the alpha on it continued to be extended and didn't go anywhere. Um, similar to some of the other games uh, that I've seen through Kickstarter, that I, I think it's either inexperience of the development team or maybe it's folks who are more art focused rather than having the skill and experiential knowledge to put out a workable game. Uh, because for me that's that, that line, you know, their, their rollout looks gorgeous. The artwork is fantastic. That's the thing that gets people to buy in and gets you excited about it. Uh, but instead we're left with something like this that, you know, going on a year and a half two years later uh, is still awkward and being called in development. Now I've only played this once since I got it. The first time was early alpha uh, and there wasn't anything I could do. All I could do was wander around essentially. This interface is new uh, so it's nice to see that there is actually some kind of difference. Uh, I'm not going to worry about doing anything fancy here. Uh, I just want to see what the world looks like. Let's do forests. I'm hopeful. Nice quick loading there after that lengthy update. So the world looks significantly different, uh, which is great. Still really rough, uh, but as far as the voxel style world, not bad. I don't actually know... Oh, is this uh, another punching interaction? There's some highlighted controls there. I should probably look up what those are because no, is there no control look up? Craft, put hand away, place, interact. Right click, left click. Since I'm in creative, I guess all this means is I'm just throwing rocks around. So maybe the scope of this is I can copy a thing and place a bunch of them. Oh yeah, okay. Alright. Well, let's use this as some exploration then, and I'll switch over to... survival afterwards. Um, so what I had been meaning to say was uh, this was through the green light process <laughs> in Steam and the reviews were not good. Uh, people weren't happy with where it was at the time uh, and frankly I can understand why uh, because you know when I did try it out uh, super awkward uh, the color palette 
was really like static and plain. Uh, controls were super glitchy, a lot of lag. Um, didn't look at all as developed as it is now. That said, at least at this point with this creative, you know, it's still pretty featureless. So let's leave this and switch over. It'd be good if I'd actually paid attention to that. Uh, so let's switch over to... Can I change that while in-game? No? Alright. We will travel in circle again. Survival. Let's check out a new biome too. Uh, the plains. They've made the interface a lot clickier as well, more defined. Good to see. So, work has continued on it, which I appreciate. Hmm. But just looking at this, you know, obviously it's still alpha. Like the lighting is pretty terrible, no discernible shadows. are definitely not instinctual. there's a running available. The games that don't offer running drive me crazy. Young cane stock. Alright. Well, I can at least punch it. Good to know. Gourd vines. So, I mean, some elements of it are attractive. Like, I like the look of the gourd. Got a nice glow. Like, I like the sparkle to it. There's another one of those hammer rocks. This was that stone that I was throwing around. Now, if you look at the handprint down below, <laughs> it's a four fingered handprint. So, I wonder if they did that out of convenience for graphics or if they're going for a uh, biological divergence, which could be interesting. Now this is supposed to be an open world sandbox, described as RPG, although I suspect that that's more just a descriptor rather than an actual role-playing game. You know, I think that a lot of times games will use that as the label because they want to appeal to a certain element rather than it being you know something with storyline and plot character development where you can grow those characters and have them achieve something because this right now uh, it's not going to stay interesting for very long You know, I like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, now. <laughs> um, okay, well. That's a creepy horned creature. I like the glowing eyes. 
I'm glad something unexpected happened. Spawned in the same place, so a little bit of a view of the valley there. Now for anyone who's watched some of my other videos, <laughs> or who knows me in life really, um, you'll note that my patience does tend to be a little bit thin. Uh, I want there to be payoff in a game. You know, I'm putting in time, I want it to be of value to me. Right now, you know, yes, this is still early access. It's alpha, it's still in development, despite the extensive timeline on it. You know, it's good to see that they put in work. However, it's not going to be worth my time to continue to play for any length of time. You know, it's more worth doing an occasional check-in to see what progress has been made. This little dude. I don't know if they're coming for me or if that's just their wandering path. Uh, so, I think I'm going to end this now. And, oh. So, don't walk into the prickly pear cactus. Just life advice. Um, but, uh, I'll check in periodically. You know, similar to a couple of the other uh, Kickstarter alpha games that I've got. Uh, you know, I invested in them. I'm curious about their progress. Yes, I'm critical with good reason. You know, I'm looking for a game that is worth my investment, uh, but also that's worth my time. You know, and I think that that should be true for anyone, really. So, it's not terrible, uh, but it's not something that, as it's presented now, it's not something that I would spend money on. But, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen so far, uh, please give me a like and subscribe for more. I'll definitely be following up with more videos.